Pisces, welcome to Blue Hill Tarot. We're going to throw weekend energy beginning today, the 15th of August, 2024. Thank you for stopping at Blue Hill Tarot. Please support my channel by liking and subscribing. And I appreciate it when you take the time to connect and comment. I will be doing some live streams this weekend. I hope you'll stop in and uh, donate to my channel and help animals and uh, connect. Say hello. If I haven't met you before, I'll throw some free cards for you if you hang around. Thank you so much. Blue Hill Tarot. Pisces, 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 Pisces. Messages for Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. So there's hope and inspiration and an air sign around some of you Pisces. Air signs are Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Messages for Pisces, please. Here we go. Messages for Pisces, please. Money's not moving as quickly as you'd like it to be, Pisces. But it's uh, still um, beside you, not behind you. Thank you, Spirit. Wow, look at that. You have the fool and uh, be careful. Okay, I love that. <laughs> you may be excited about something. Uh, pay attention. Okay, there could be a snake in the grass around whatever it is you're excited about. Messages, messages, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Heck, I could wrap the video up now. I've given you guys messages. <laughs> Pisces, Pisces, let's go. Pisces, all right, the deck is ready. First card is love, love, love. The Seven Rivers. It's one of the best love cards um, I, I know of. So this can be love, love, love between you and someone else in a personal relationship. It can also be you being uh, definitely uh, on the market and there is love around you available. Open up to it. It can also be family, you know, people that you care about, you know, people that are reaching back when you reach out. It's a, a way to start this reading that's absolutely beautiful. Here's a Libra. So some of you have a Libra and you love, love, love them. Um, and they love, love, love you back. And this can also be if you don't know any Libras, um, if you are Pisces and you're waiting on decisions that are outside of your, you know, control, you're going to get a fair and balanced an answer. And certainly this moon that's coming is going to bring that information or some part or portion of it. It's also a message that it's going to be fair and balanced, okay? It may not be a windfall. It may not be exactly super positive, but it's not going to be super negative. Uh, you've got, the, you know, if you are a Pisces who's working outside of the home or doing something that you uh, are good at, people notice it. Okay, even if it's if it's volunteering, if it's giving back in some way, whatever that is, uh, people who see you doing that, they say, wow, you really know what you're doing. If they don't say it to you, it doesn't mean that they're not thinking it. This is a, an acknowledgement of your skill set, Pisces. Wow, this is a beautiful, independent, um, you know, well taken care of, quaffed Pisces. So if you're not uh, an independent, quaffed, well taken care of, uh, Pisces, you want to be. Uh, this card says uh, you want to say, okay, I'll sign that check. I'll take care of it myself. Or you already do that and you do it well. Wow, look at all this material energy. So Pisces, you guys are connecting with the dollars and cents of things. And there are positive outcomes within your grasp. So keep going. Whatever you're doing right now to try to increase your material or maintain your material Place, it's working. Stay the course. Your karma and fate for this weekend moving forward is victory. Look at that, Pisces. Yippee! Come on, be positive. This is you, Pisces, showing up as the hanged man. You, you know, the moon is going to pull on you, and you may be hanging upside down or not. But, you know, you can't help it. Whether you deny your connection to water as the fish swimming in both directions, it's going to pull on you this weekend going into this full moon next week. Uh, well, actually, this weekend. Uh, so uh, it's okay. You, you got this. You're showing up really strong and grounded. This is going to be an interesting full moon. I will tell you right now, whenever we have an energy, I've already been feeling it this month in general, August 2024 is a month to behold energetically. So um, just expect uh, whatever, you know, be prepared. 
Stress is around, but nothing you can't handle. The unknown variable for your weekend Pisces is, you know, your money. Uh, so, you know, it's improving. It's beside you and not behind you. This card showed up before we even started throwing your cards. So remember, you do have more control than you maybe realize around what happens with your finances and your choices. The energy of a fire sign. Some of you Pisces have a fire sign connection that you are thinking about, concerned with. Maybe you love them. Maybe they're a family member. Maybe they're a relationship. Maybe there's somebody that's new in your life. But there is a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius showing up around Pisces. Okay, so we are going to give you an Oracle Guidance card and then wrap up this reading. Thank you so much for stopping at Blue Hill Tarot. Please comment. Stop by the live stream this weekend. There's your Oracle. Prioritize self-care. Well, Pisces, I hope you do this. You do so much for others. It's time for you to experience the love you deserve and let others help you beautiful message. Take care, Pisces, Blue Hill Tarot. I hope you'll subscribe. Thank you.